Well, the fort begins in, in the summer of 1779. We're in the middle of the American Revolution, and we're up on the coast of Maine. And it wasn't called Maine then. It was, it was still part of Massachusetts. It's a wilderness, at least to the British, who are sailing very, very slowly up the Penobscot River. They're 26 miles inland up this, this, this river, which is, looks like a sea lock. It's an enormously wide stretch of inlet of the sea. And they're going, they're going up this river to, to a peninsula to build a fort. When you write about the American Revolution, and especially if, like me, you live in America, you are very, very aware that you're approaching the high ground of American myth. Um, I mean, this is sacred territory, and, and, and they guard it jealously. One of their great transcendental heroes, a real, real great patriot hero, Paul Revere, he had a very famous poem written about him by Henry Longfellow, Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Well, it turns out that Paul Revere, this great hero, was court-martialed for incompetence and cowardice. Now I thought, I've got a story. And the more research I did, the more I discovered that this unbelievably important hero of the American Revolution had feet of clay. He was a dreadful man. I mean, I've got well over a thousand pages of original journals, diaries, letters, logbooks. So on any, any given occasion, all I had to do was to rake through this enormous pile of research to find out what somebody was doing on that day, which doesn't mean to say that I slavishly followed it. In fact, I, I telescope some events and shrink some events. The guy I really liked is, is, is General Francis, Brigadier General Francis McLean, who is this 62-year-old Scotsman who leads the, the British forces. And no one's ever heard of McLean. Um, I mean, he's just one of those figures that's got lost to history. But he was a, a terrific soldier. One of the big problems that General McLean had is that his men were sneaking out of the camp to, f to fight the enemy on their own. I mean, they were, they were not waiting for orders. They were sneaking through the woods to take pot shots at the Americans. Um, it's a complete reversal of everything they're normally told about the American Revolution, that the Americans are the ones who sneak around in the woods and, and the Brits are being stupid, waiting to be shot. Um, but in fact, at Penobscot, it's the other way around. It's the British who are sneaking into the woods to, to try and harass the Americans.